Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how a messaging application running in a Liberty container sends and receives messages from the queue manager running in a MQ container. Let us start the demo by launching the Bootu Docker by clicking the Bootu Docker start icon in the desktop. The Bootu Docker VM already exists and it is getting started. We will be able to use Docker directly or we will be able to log in to the Bootu Docker VM and use. Note down the IP address. This is the IP address we will be using to access the application running inside the container. Now let us log in to the Bootu Docker VM. Bootu Docker.exe and space SSH. Now we are inside the Bootu Docker VM. Let us review the Docker images available in the Bootu Docker VM docker space images so here we could see the websphere liberty and the mq advanced docker images i have pulled these images from the docker hub so these images are just the base images so we will be extending these base images by adding the configuration required by the application and creating new images so let us do that first for the mq cd Space MQ. So now we are inside the MQ folder. Here we have two files, Docker file and the config.mqc. The Docker file is, will be used to build the new image and the config.mqc has the required configuration. So let us review the config.mqc. So here we could see, first we are going to define a local queue, Q1. This is the queue to which we are going to send messages and receive messages from. And then we are going to alter the queue manager. We are not going to use any specific user ID or password to access the queue manager. So we are going to disable the channel authentication. And then we are going to alter the auth info. So by default, the queue manager uses the ID password auth info. And here where we have the client check as the required. So we are going to change that to optional. So then we are going to alter the system dev server con channel definition to use the MCA user as MQM. Then we are going to define a new server con channel, the channel name channel1 and the transport type TCP. Then we are going to refresh the security so that it pick up the changes we have done. Now let us review the Docker file. So we are going to use the MQ advanced image which we downloaded from the Docker Hub as a base image. And then we are going to copy the config.mqc under the slash etc slash mqm so that when the during the startup of the queue manager, the script will be executed. And then we are going to accept the license. Now let us build a new Docker image, Docker build minus t and the image name mq and then dot to indicate the current directory where we have placed the docker file. So the image has been built successfully. Let us give docker images and review the new image created. We could see the new image mq created 7 seconds ago. Now let us start a docker container using the new image docker run for starting the container then we are going to give the name of the container as mq and then we are going to use an environment variable to specify the queue manager name mq underscore queue manager underscore name equal to qm1 and then we are going to do the port association minus p we are going to map the port 1414 in the host to the 1414 in the container and then minus d to indicate we are running in the background minus d and then the image name mq so the container has been successfully started. So let us give docker logs mq to review the logs of the container. So we could see the container has been started successfully. Queue manager qm1 is running successfully. Now let us give docker ps and confirm that the container is running successfully. It is up for 20 seconds. Now let us add the configuration and create a new image for liberty so we'll go to the liberty folder in the liberty folder we have the docker file and the messaging application var server.xml and the wmq resource adapter rar file the wmq resource adapter rar file we have downloaded from the ibm fix central 
Let us review the server.xml. VI server.xml. So here we could see the features needed by the application. Servlet, WMK JMS client and the JNDI. And here we have specified the RAR location. Here you could see the application information. And here we have the JMSQ connection factory definition. In the host name, we have given the name as MQ. We are going to link both the Liberty and the MQ containers. And we are going to give the link name MQ. And the port number 1414 and channel channel 1 which we have defined in the queue manager. And the queue manager name as QM1. And here we have the JMSQ definition. We have defined the base queue as Q1 which we have defined in the queue manager. Let us review the docker file now, vi docker file. Here we are using the docker image we downloaded from the docker hub as the base image. Then we are going to copy the server.xml under the default server folder. Then we are going to copy the rar file under the opt ibm wlp user service folder. Then we are going to copy the messaging application var under the apps folder. So then we are going to run the install utility. Install utility is going to check the server.xml and install the feature which are not available in the WebSphere Liberty image. And then we are going to accept the license. Now let us build the docker image. Docker build minus t Liberty is the image name and then dot. So the Liberty image is getting built. So we are running install utility is getting run. So we need the additional feature WMQ JMS client 1.1. So it is establishing a connection to the configured repositories and successfully connected to all the configured repositories. Downloading the WMQ JMS client from the configured repositories, installing it. And now we have successfully built the Liberty image. Give Docker images. And now we could see the Liberty image which has been created 15 seconds ago. Now let us start the docker container using this image. Docker run. We are going to give the container name as Liberty. Then we are going to do the port association minus P 80 in the host to the 9080 in the container. And then we are going to create the link hyphen hyphen link. And then we are going to specify the name MQ colon MQ and then minus D going to run the container in the background and minus t and the image name liberty so the container has been successfully started let us check the logs of the container docker logs liberty so we could see the default server has been successfully started and the application is running now let us launch the application in a browser so here we are going to use the Ubuntu docker host ip address to access the application running inside the container the messaging application has been launched successfully. Let us send some test messages and check. Test message, click send. Message, test message, send successfully. Let us receive the message, click receive. Message, test message, received successfully. As part of this demo, we have seen how new MQ and Liberty images with the configuration required by the application can be built from the images pulled from the Docker Hub and containers started using those images can be linked and the message application running in the Liberty container can send and receive messages from the destination in the queue manager running in the MQ container. Thanks for watching the demo.